Do you have time to spend a few hours every day logging into every social media platform, posting content, reacting and replying to interactions, and evaluating the effectiveness of your efforts? Me either. I know a strong social media presence is really important because the social media sites are where the people are and we want to get our product, service, or brand in front of their eyeballs. But because I have a million things to do and not enough hours in the day, I just wasn't doing anything with social media. I didn't even have accounts set up because I knew I didn't have the time to spend every day logging into each platform and engaging and posting. I knew I needed to be taking advantage of social media platforms to grow, but I needed a a solution that would make it possible to have a social media presence without consuming a lot of time. I could hire a social media manager, but that would get really expensive really quick. And I don't know about you, but I don't have the luxury of an unlimited budget. So I needed a tool and it turns out that such a tool is called a social media management tool to make things happen. So after doing a whole bunch of research of all the available options that are out there, I found a pretty cool tool that makes it possible for me to do way more than I thought I could in a short amount of time. It's called Metricool, and I'm excited to share it with you. So first things first, what social media platforms does Metricool help you with? You can use it to post to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, as well as your Google business profile and do Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads, and in some plans it has a Looker Studio connector and LinkedIn. Now, how do we post to these platforms using Metricool? There's multiple ways that you can accomplish this. From this calendar, which is on the planning tab within Metricool, one option to post is just to click this button up here, create new post. So you can put your text in here, you can add your image, add your video or whatever. And then down here, it will show you specific presets that you can do by platform. So if there's certain things that apply only to one platform, they'll be down under here. Type out that post here in one place, and then you just click whatever social media platforms you're connected to, and this is what you'll be posting to. So all these up here are things that I have connected this brand to, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. And so what I'm telling it here is I want to make this post across all of these platforms. Right now it's telling us, you know, for Facebook, the content length has to be at least one character or one media file. For Instagram and Pinterest is saying, hey, I need an image or a video here. Over to the right here is just a preview of how your post will look across these different platforms. I can set the date and time that I want that to go, or I can just check publish now and it'll post whatever I've typed in here across all these platforms. You can also edit by network. You can say for Twitter, I want to add a hashtag and over here on Facebook, I want to add some emojis. This is really not how I use Metricool the most. What I prefer to do is here on the planning calendar, I click import export CSV and I import a file. You just download this template. It tells you all the fields that need to be filled in and then you fill it in with your post text, your videos, your images, and then all the settings for all of your platforms, not your like login and stuff, but like for Facebook, do you want it to be a post or a reel or a story or whatever? You set those specific things per platform in the spreadsheet. You set the time and date for each post and upload the spreadsheet and then poof, there it is. And that's how I've generated most of these with a few different spreadsheets because I had a few different themes. Another nifty way that you can get posts up there is to use an auto list. Auto lists are sort of a holding tank for your content. So with an auto list, you can upload a spreadsheet that has just two columns. It has the text for your post and it has the image or video file. And once you upload that, then you'll specify pull from this bucket on whatever days at this time. So in this case, for this auto list, I said pull something out of this auto list every single day. You see, I have all the days highlighted every single day at 11 a.m. You can say post on Sundays and Thursdays at noon. And then if you want to add another level, you can say also pull something from this list on Saturdays at 6 a.m. So you can have multiple different schedules for the same tank of content. When you first upload your file, you have these presets here, your global presets, which are auto publish. And that just means it's going to pull from this tank on your schedule and post something. It's not going to require you to preview and approve everything before it gets posted. You would obviously also pick which platforms you want to post to. In this case, I looks like I have it set for 
Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram for this group. Another way you can get posts up, which is really cool and metrical, is through RSS feeds. So this auto list, what I have this doing is every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at noon, metrical is posting to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest about a YouTube video that I have out there. When I set this up, I told it to go back and add the last 15 videos that have already been published into this auto list feed. So that would cover me for any upcoming days that there isn't a video being made. There'd be something in the hopper for it to pull from. And then I told it any new content should go to the front of the auto list. So come Thursday at noon, when it goes to look at my feed, if I've made a video recently, it's going to pull that and post about it. If I haven't made a video, it's going to just go back to the list of the 15 that I told it it could pull from in addition to what it's being fed. Something else you can do with the RSS feeds, pretty cool if you have a blog or a website, you probably have an RSS feed, especially if you're in WordPress. You can link that directly. You can put it in an auto list here and tell it what social media platforms. So that anytime you make a blog post, it'll auto publish when you put out new content on YouTube or your blog or whatever. It's a seamless way to get it announced also and shared out on whatever social media platforms that you're trying to share it on. Something else I really love here is the central inbox. Every platform that you have connected to Metrical, you've got all your comments, all your interactions in one place, in one central inbox. And don't mind if you see any hateful comments in there. I tend not to block or be mean to people if they're having a bad day or maybe they're just a troll. I don't know. But I feel like we don't overcome negative by being negative. So don't worry about any hater comments in here. I certainly do not. But you can see here that chronologically it shows all the comments and stuff. As you can see, YouTube is the platform that I have the most interaction on. And yes, you can absolutely click on it and you can reply the way it lays it out. The other person is in like a green block and then you're in like a white or gray block. So you can sort of see the conversation there, which is pretty handy. So I don't have to have notifications on my phone from four or five different social media platforms. And I don't have to go open four or five different apps. I can see and engage with my audience across all the platforms from one central place. And yes, Metricool does have an Android and iPhone app, and it does have this feature in it. So rather than going into all the platforms, you can just go into the Metricool app. You'll see your inbox that looks very similar to this and engage with your audience from one single place. Super handy. Analytics. This is going to show you what's going on across all the social media platforms that you have connected. And you can see the list of those that you can connect your web or blog, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Google Business, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook ads, Google ads, TikTok ads. So this page overview, you can get pretty daggone detailed and what you want to look at here, clicks, posts, reels. You can even set competitors in here and compare how you're doing. For me, I'm my biggest competitor and I want to be better tomorrow than I was yesterday. That's the competition. Let's talk about pricing. And this is really exciting. I was pleasantly surprised and impressed by the pricing options here. I started with metrical free plan tier package, whatever. I started on free because with the free tier, you can have one brand. Well, what's a brand? One brand for me is Accelerator.Tech, the YouTube channel that you're watching right now and its associated website or blog. So everything I do with Accelerator is under one place. Accelerator has its own Facebook page and its own uh, Instagram and Twitter and all that jazz. I have another YouTube channel that's trivia and quizzes and that kind of stuff. That's a separate brand. It has its own YouTube channel, so it also has its own Instagram and its own Facebook and all that. So that would be a separate brand. I also use Metrical for a podcast that I co-host. It's a true crime podcast, so it's not at all related to the trivia or accelerator. It's in its own world and has its own name. So obviously it has its own Facebook and Instagram and all that sort of thing. So 
that's a brand in Metricool free. You can have one brand. So that's how I started learning Metricool. I went on the free plan. I had picked one brand to start with on here because, you know, why pay for a subscription for the time that I'm really learning and spending time not getting a lot done? Let me figure out how one works and if I like it. And it turns out, yes, I liked it very, very much. In fact, I couldn't wait to get all my other stuff going through Metricool. So free, you get one brand, which means you can connect to one website or blog, one Facebook account, one Instagram, one Twitter, one Pinterest, one down the line. And really each brand is most likely going to have one of these. So the starter is actually two different starter plans. There's a five brand and a 10 brand plan. I'm on the five brand starter plan and it's working out great for me. So that will give you five or 10, depending on which starter plan you pick five or 10 brands, and then five or 10, whichever you pick of all the platform connections with all of them, whether it's free all the way up to the enterprise, you've got the planner, you'll be able to see eventually it'll show you the best times for highest engagement. Your post limit on the free plan is 50 posts a month, and it doesn't take long to get to 50 posts a month three times a week times four weeks. That's 12 posts per platform. If you stick to that in four platforms, you'd probably be okay. If you're really trying to go crazy, it could get a lot more than that. Even in the free plan, you get the auto list, you get the auto publish, you get all the goodies. What you don't get in the free plan, which was not a huge concern to me, was the hashtag search engine scheduling PDFs in LinkedIn, which is okay because you don't get LinkedIn in the free plan and you don't get Looker Studio Connector. Neither of those were deal breakers for me. I don't use either of them, but in case you do, you should know. The RSS feed, you get that in the free plan and really everything else you could need. Now they do have an AI copy assistant, so they have AI built in that you can, you know, ask the AI to generate something that you'll then tweak to your style and voice. In the free plan, you get three uses per month, plenty of other alternatives out there, even that are free, like chat GPT, especially if you're going to be uploading via spreadsheet, you can use some other AI tools to help you come up with your content and batch it together and put it in a spreadsheet and zap it up. The analytics worked fine for me in the free, in the starter, you also get the competitor analysis stuff in the free. It's only holding metrics for three months and historical data for two months, whereas in every paid plan, it's unlimited. Not a deal breaker for me either way, but just letting you know, you don't get any reports in the free plan. Not that you necessarily need them, especially if you're working with one brand and doing less than 50 posts a month. You do get some in the starter plan. I've not used those. I don't know if I ever will, but I'm not super concerned about it. Both the free plan and the starter plan have the central inbox where you have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, and Google business profile all right there, one inbox. In the free plan, you don't have LinkedIn, so you don't have LinkedIn in your inbox. Both the free and starter, as far as uh, team and integration, they have a Canva integration, but there's nothing else as far as teams or appies or zapier or whatever you'd have to go into the advanced or the enterprise level to get some of those features it's not been a bother to me i'm a solopreneur one man show here so i'm the only one that needs access and then hashtag trackers if you're interested in those those are all an option uh, across every plan i started on the free plan and like i said that was great for getting one brand set up on twitter instagram Facebook, you know, YouTube, Pinterest, wherever I was, I was very happy with it and thought, okay, yep, this is the tool for me. Now I need to get my other brands in there. And so I compared and went with the starter that is $18 a month with an annual payment, gets you five brands. And if you want to go to 10 brands, that is $38 a month with a monthly payment or 31 with an annual five brands does enough for me. If you're unsure, I would start on the free. I would figure your way around, do your fumbling while you're not paying for it. And then if you have more than one brand, then go ahead and upgrade. And if you're pretty committed to what you're doing, you know, the brands that you're working with are going to stick around. You're going to be dealing with them for a while and you can swing it, pay for a year up front at $18 a month. And if you're not sure, maybe some of these are temporary projects that you're only going to have them for a while, maybe do the monthly thing. Or if paying for one year up front is a little too steep for the pocketbook, hey, I get it. Do the monthly thing. I've seen some things that if you pay monthly instead of annually, it's like 
double the price, which is just, man, that hurts. But Metricool doesn't do that to you. I mean, it's enough that it's a good discount to go ahead and sign up yearly, but it's not like punitive if you can't. If you only have one brand, then what do you get by upgrading to paid? Well, look at what you're using. So if you're doing more than 50 pieces of content a month or you want to, then yeah, you get up to 2000 by upgrading. You also get LinkedIn. So if that's important to you, you'll have that connection as well. You get the analysis of your competitors. If you want that, you get the download reports and you can put multiple links in your bio with the smart links, which is a topic for another day. For me personally, there was nothing about the advanced or enterprise plans that I particularly needed. Advanced has 15 brands or 25 brands, and I'm cool with five. And then the team and client access and role management, that's all team stuff. I'm not a team. I'm a team of one, so I'm good. And I don't have anything with Looker Studio, so I didn't need that. I'm not super worried about customizable reports or Zapier integration, so I didn't need to go that direction at 50 brands in the enterprise plan. It's way more than I plan to manage. It would also get you white label access, and I'm not concerned about that a bit because I'm not doing this for clients. I'm doing this for me. I should say that in the starter where it says up to 2000 pieces of content per month, that's across however many brands you have. So if you're on that five brand plan, your 2000 pieces of content goes across all five of those. That gives you some flexibility. Your limit is going to average out to about 400, yeah, 400 pieces of content per brand. But if you've got one brand that doesn't need to do so much, and maybe it only needs to do 100 a month, and you got another brand that needs to do you know, 500 a month, it's a spread across it. But it is not 2,000 pieces of content per month per brand. It's 2,000 pieces total. Don't want to mislead anybody on that. To get started with Metricool, there's a link in the description. Check it out. See what you think. I did become an affiliate for Metricool, which really once you have an account with Metricool, they already sort of consider you an affiliate, I guess. But you do need to know that if you follow my link and you end up purchasing something eventually, I might receive a small commission. It won't cost you a penny more, but it sure does help me out. Remember, I got these teenage boys at home. They eat a lot. All right, so let's get into the specifics of exactly how to use Metricool to make posts to multiple social media platforms at once, how to upload a spreadsheet of planned posts, and how to set up auto lists. Click on this video right here, and we will get into all of that. 